This is a t-shirt done by one of our printers in Australia. And in fact, the guys that printed this shirt the previous year, they did the same um, uh, hot rod uh, show t-shirt uh, with a plastisole. And they, they told us that our ink wouldn't go through their 305 line screens. And uh, within 12 months, they've converted over 50% of their production to water-based. And this shirt here was done the first down white was printed through uh, 195 thread mesh and then flash dried and then the six colours were printed wet on wet over the top. Um, wow. So that's so through to 305 T mesh. First down wet is just to get your opa opaque layer, right? That's correct. And you end up with a much softer handle on, right. the, on the finished print. But first down means that it's got, what, a, a, a tooth that will pick yeah, up the other it, colors? It, it, In other words, there's a regular white and a first down white, Yeah, right? we have the super cover white. So we'll, we'll just talk about the first down white first. So the, the super cover white is sort of very, very highly pigmented. The first down white has got less pigment in it, but it's got a much bigger tooth, so it effectively acts as a primer. So you put that down through the, the, the screen, you flash dry it, and then you can print the other six colours wet on wet, and that's a, another first. We, we've had a very strong um, environmental commitment, so we, we embarked on this project about three years ago, uh, and we just wanted to make a 100% uh, water-based product, but we expected that our customers would have to accommodate some performance compromises. Right. By working with the leading printers in Australia, we've been able to incrementally improve our product, and it's now, we believe, the, the best in the world. Light fast, chemical resistant, dry clean resistant, wash resistant, rub resistant, uh, extremely fine particle size. So it goes through any kind of a silk screen and the finest well, screens, what's, right? What's extraordinary about this product is for a water-based product, it'll go through 350 threads per inch mesh. Now, most screen printers, if you talk to them about water-based, they won't try it through anything finer than 100. Really? Thread. Three times oh, more? 110, three times more. Right, and that's just because you have it micronized or so finely ground, or how does that work? Oh, it's special proprietary chemistry. The standard super cover white, that's the, the flagship of the range. Right. That's, that's... What's this? This is nylon or what? That's, yeah, that's a, sort of like a, a rain jacket. Oh with boy, the, uh, like with a, a sleeves, sports... Uh, with you the know, sleeves sports cut out. People yep. could use that or something. But, but I mean, this fabric isn't, is the, it's not that easy to silk screen, is it? Well, again, it's one of the things we've been told, you can't print on this, and we have that right there. It's, it's uh, there, I yeah. tell you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been, that it's is been terrific. Air, air dried with a, uh, like a hair dryer. Right. And, uh, and this, this sample's actually been washed twice. You can see that's, um, right. that, that's not going anywhere. It's quite fresh, yeah. Really, really soft handle. It um, is. Great opacity and it's 100% water-based, so every time you use this, you're doing something positive for the environment. So this is the 12 colors that are transparent, 12 right? colors in the standard range, plus a black and two whites. That's and a that's standard a white and a blending white. Oh, and a blending white. Huh? That's for making pastel colors. Right, and this would be like one price group, right? That's one price group, right? And, okay. Then we have the glow colors, that's another right. price group. Then the- Those the, are transparent, right? These are transparent, yes and they're very, very bright. Then you've right. got the four metallics, and these can be blended with the standard colors to come right. up with even even more colors. Right, and then you've got the glow in the dark, uh, and then we're the super talking covers, opaque they're, colors. They're uh, a different price group again. Uh, again, 12 colors plus black and two whites. We have the, the super cover white and the first down white. Right. And we also have a puff ink, which is a three-dimensional ink. Uh, you, you print it, you dry it, and then when you heat set it, that's when the, the puff raises and it raises the profile. You get raised letters. The super opaque uh, glow colors. Right, so that's that, each one of these is a separate price group, is that correct? That's correct, yeah. yep. This is a 100% um, polyester, uh -huh. um, and you can see the vibrancy of the colors, um, great adhesion, and no additives at all, so this is really, really nice and so soft. Additives are, does that, does that make it kind of like hard or do, is additives just something that's bad for the environment because it's toxic or? The, the, there's several sorts of additives. Like for this job, you'd normally need a synthetic additive. And once you do that, your formaldehyde rating would go off the Richter scale. Our product has been tested to Oakitex class one. It's below 20 parts per million. 
and so it can be used on baby clothes under two years, on lingerie, on uh, intimate apparel, wow. um, by the major sporting brands and, and, and by the Japanese. Uh, right. This is a, uh, a stretch fabric but for swimwear. Again, that's... Um, oh, this is tough fabric, hold, huh? that, hold that, hold that, hold yep. so that. This, this is, is tough yeah. fabric, huh? <laughs> Speedo. Uh, no, um, no, uh, no stretch additives in there, no synthetic additives. And uh, the product works right out of the jar. Um, and at a practical level, that uh, confers a lot of ad advantages for a print shop because historically what would happen is the, the first printer would come along and he'd, he'd have a synthetic job to do, add synthetic additive, put the finished ink back in the jar. In other words, when you had ink left over, you'd pour it in the jar, it, had, it would already have that additive in yeah. it. Yeah, and so the next guy come along, he'd have a stretch job and he'd put stretch additive in and then put now it back in the jar. Now you got two additives yeah. in there, right? Yep. So you're yep. really polluting the stock, right? Yeah, and so with this, it's, uh, all the quality is built in there, all the uh, performance, all the stretch, all the adhesion. This is so soft. Resistance. You know, it feels yeah. like something I'd want to wear. Yeah, well, yeah. that's... <laughs> That's the whole thing about screen printing for textiles is it needs to be comfortable. But typically, if you had a soft product, it'd uh, wash off you know, as soon as you'd look at it. But we have exclusive access to a proprietary polymer that gives us softness and strength. And we've had this tested. So that, this is special chemistry, right? This a is special very, po polymer and, very, and nobody else really has this. That's right. And uh, 30 washes at 150 degrees Fahrenheit under commercial conditions and there was negligible sign of degradation of the polymer, of the print. Um, the unprinted areas, it was such an aggressive environment, but the unprinted areas... The wash was a real tough wash and not that, so hot, huh? That, that's right. Well, the, the, the unprinted areas were actually degrading, but the printed areas were actually helping to hold the textile together. So you're an industrial uh, supplier, so I suppose you can get these in all different sizes. Yep. The, uh, the smallest size we stock is a 300 mil, which is just under 11 ounce. Right. We then have the liter. That's like this one? Sorry. Yep. The, the liter, which is uh, just a bit bigger than a quart. All those come in, all the colors come in a liter? All the colors come in liters. Then we have four liters, which is just more than a gallon. And we even go up to 15 liters.